हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड टीचर्स वेलकम बैक टू द डे टू ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स क्रैश कोर्स होपफुली डे वन वाज वेरी मच यूजफुल एंड बूस्टेड योर कॉन्फिडेंस सो फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू टुडे सेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज विल बी कवरिंग मोस्ट ऑफ द थ्री मार्क फोर मार्क एंड फाइव मार्क क्वेश्चन सो डोंट स्कीप आउट डोंट स्कीप एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो डू अटेंड द कंप्लीट सेशन टूडे आफ्टर अटेंडिंग द सेशन आई थिंक इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू solve three mark and four mark and five mark questions in the exam after this sessions i'll be posting the practice paper along with the worksheets in my telegram group so don't forget to join my telegram group and also do subscribe the channel now uh, hopefully you, you have kept or you have uh, all the stationery with you along with the book pen and the geometry box now moving to first question of today's session calculate the median of the following data before moving to the first uh, calculating median the first step is we should learn the formula so do repeat with me median of group data equals l plus n by 2 minus f by f into h so median of group data otherwise median equals l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h l is the lower limit of the median class n is the number of observation cf cf is the cumulative frequency f is the frequency h is the class size now the first step is find the cumulative frequency column find what cumulative frequency column first to find out cumulative frequency write down the first frequency as it is that is 5 next 5 plus 3 is what 8 next 8 plus 4 12 next 12 plus 3 15 next 15 plus 3 18 18 plus 4 22 next 22 plus 7 is 29 29 plus 9 is 38. 38 plus 7 is 45. 45 plus 8 is 53. Now, what is the first step? First step is find out the cumulative frequency column. first step is what cumulative frequency column now what is the value of n n is 53 that is the total observation that is if you add all the f you get 53 otherwise this gives the value of n n equals what 53 median equals what l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h now the first step is calculate the value of n by 2 that is divide n value by 2 what is value of n n is 53 divided by 2 now 53 by 2 is what 26.5 what is the value of n n is 53 divided by 2 what we get is 26.5 now the, the value 26.5 lies between which value of the cumulative frequency it is between 22 and 29 now out of this which is the highest 29 therefore this class becomes the median class mark it market 26.5 the value 26.5 lies between 22 and 29 i'll mark 29 row as the median class here from here what is the lower limit lower limit equals 60 what is the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency will be 22 this is cf above the median class gives the above the median class of cf gives the cf value that is cf equals 22 
f equals the frequency in frequency column f equals 7 class size h equals upper limit minus lower limit that is 10 minus 0 or 20 minus 10 or whatever it is we get class size as 10 now we got n by 2 value l value cf value frequency value and the class size how to calculate the cf it is above the median class in the frequent in the cumulative frequency column in the cumulative frequency column above the median class that is this above this class is the cumulative frequency and this is the f value now median equals what is the value of l l is 60 plus n by 2 value is 26.5 minus cf value is 22 by f is what f is 7 into h is what 10 now median equals 60 plus 26.5 minus 22 is 4.5 4.5 by 7 into 10 what we get 60 plus 4.5 into 10 is 45 by 7 60 plus divide 45 by 7 if you divide 45 by 7 we get 6.6 seven ones are seven six are again we get That is 45 divided by 7, 7 6 are 42 next 3 remainder then point you get 0 here 7 4 are 28 so answer is 6.4 now 60 plus 6.4 is 66.4 therefore median value is what 66.4 first step is learn the formula next find out the n by 2 value and find out between what cumulative frequency 26.5 exist after that mark the median class find out the lower limit cf and f then class size h substitute it and simplify you get the answer now moving to next question calculate the mean of the following data very important three mark question for the exam to calculate the mean of the data what we need to find out is we need to find out class mark x class mark x that is the sum of lower limit and upper limit and divide by 2 that is 10 plus 30 by 2 that is 40 by 2 is what 10 plus 30 is 40 by 2 is 20 the same way 30 plus 50 is what 30 plus 50 is 80 80 by 2 is 40 next 50 plus 70 is 120 by 2 is 60 70 plus 90 is 160 by 2 is 80 now what is the next step next step calculate f i x i just multiply f value and xi value that is 2 into 20 is 40 next 6 into 40 2 4 0 10 into 60 600 now 2 into 80 160 now add 40 240 plus 600 plus 160 what you get is sigma fi xi that is sum of product of fi xi is what 1040 now the mean mean x bar equals sigma fi xi by sigma fi that is the sum of the frequency sigma fi equals what 2 plus 6 is 8 8 plus 10 is 18 18 plus 2 
20 what we got is 20 now mean x bar equals 1040 by 20 0 and 0 will cancel to 1 za, to 5 za, to 2 za. so x bar equals 52 that is mean x bar equals what we got 52 very simple question just you need to find out the class mark that is the sum of upper limit and lower limit divided by 2 and find out the product see if you see this column fi xi that means multiply fi and xi to find to know the xi value that is class mark add upper limit plus lower limit by 2 we get xi for all the rows you should do it yesterday we have missed this very important question that is finding the sum of 20 terms of the AP 2, 7, 12 and so on. Now what is the first step? First step is write down the given AP. The given AP 2, 7, 12, comma, and so on. What is the value of A, D and N? A is what? 2. D is what? Difference of any two consecutive terms that is 7 minus 2 is 5 next n is what we need to find out sum of 20 terms therefore n equals 20 now sn equals n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d repeat with me the sn formula sn equals n by 2 2 times a plus n minus 1 into d now s20 that is sum of 20 terms equals 20 by 2 that is n by 2 is 20 by 2 2 times a is what 2 plus 20 minus 1 that is n minus 1 is 20 minus 1 d is what 5 yes 20 equals 2 ones are 2 tens are. we get 10 into 2 into 2 is 4 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 into 5 now yes 20 equals 10 times 4 plus 19 into 5 19 into 5 is 90 5 now we get 10 into 4 plus 95 is 99 10 into 99 is 990 therefore the sum of 20 terms of given AP is 990 that is 990 so very important two more question finding the sum of n terms of an given AP that is given by SN equals n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d find out the value of a d and n after that substitute it and you will get the sum of 20 terms now students uh, do take uh, the geometry box and i'll be explaining how to do construct a pair of tangent to a circle of radius 4 centimeter from a point 9 centimeter away from its center now the student the first step is draw a circle of radius using your compass draw a circle of radius 4 centimeter first step is what draw a circle of radius 4 centimeter I'm not able to do it properly because of the because I'm not using the compass draw a circle of radius what 4 centimeter from the point O that is O is the center of the circle now the students draw a first step is what draw a circle of radius 4 centimeter from the point what is the distance distance is 9 centimeter from the center draw a line of draw a line segment of uh, what 9 centimeter what is the length of this line segment is 9 centimeter now what is the next step next from the point P take your compass and measure more than half more than half of this line segment from the point T P take more than half from the point P cut in half here and here from the point P take more than half cut in half 
the same way from the point O without changing the measurement cut an arc above and below and join this join this after that taking this as center students what I am doing is the rough figure what you get is you will get the exact construction from this point that is intersection of this point taking this as the center and P as the OP as the this as center and this length as the radius do a circle after drawing the circle joined two circle are intersecting at this point join this name it as A and B now P A and P B are required tangents students very important three mark construction first step is draw the circle from the point O draw 9 centimeter line from the point T take more than half cut an arc from the point O take more than half and cut an arc join this line and draw a circle and join the two circles are intersecting at this point join this we get the tangent what I have got is very much rough rough figure I have done but you should do it neatly as in the this figure moving to fifth question consider the triangle four mark question very you students are very lucky to get this question for four marks easily can score four marks construct a triangle of side four centimeter five centimeter as in six centimeter then construct an another isosceles sorry another triangle whose corresponding sides are three by five of the sides of first triangle students always the first step is what draw the triangle what are the lengths of the triangle it is four centimeter five centimeter and 6 cm first draw 4 cm or 5 cm or 6 cm what I have done is I have I will draw 4 cm line mark this as B and this as C this as C now from point B measure using compass measure 5 cm using scale from the point B measure 5 cm and cut an arc from the point C use your compass measure 6 cm and cut, a, cut an arc these two arcs will intersect at a point join this mark this point as A now we got the triangle with sides 4 cm 5 cm and 6 cm now students what is the given ratio it is 3 by 5 in the given ratio many of the students do mistake here in the given ratio which is the highest number 3 or 5 5 is the highest number from the point B draw an acute angle from the point B draw an acute angled ray line then or in the ratio 3 by 5 the highest number is 5 now from the point B cut 5 arcs how many arcs 5 arcs why 5 arcs because the uh, highest uh, ratio in the ratio highest number is 5 therefore I have cut 5 arcs that is B1 B2 B3 B4 and B5 now after this the next confusing step is which point should be joined to point C it is 3 or 5 why out of 3 by 2 3 by 5 which is none which is the number which is in the denominator it is 5 now join B 5 and 5 in case if the ratio was 5 by 3 you should join what 3 to C B 3 to C because the number in the denominator should be joined to the point C how many arcs should be cut the number of arcs equals the highest number 
in the ratio next which point should be joined i sh the point b3 or b5 b5 should be joined because the question is 3 by 5 so i've joined the point b5 to c now from b5 cut an arc with the same length from point b cut an arc measure this arc length using compass measure this arc length and cut an arc join it join b3 pass a line through from b3 cutting an arc in the same way from the point c cut an arc i'll name it as c dash from c dash cut an arc of same length measure this arc length and in the same way measure this arc length and cut an arc pass a line to it now i'll name it as a dash now a a dash b c dash is the required triangle students construction questions it is a little clumsy but we, if you follow the steps what i am telling you will get the exact figure as in the has shown here the tip what i give is for the given ratio whether it is 3 by 5 or 7 by 5 or 4 by 3 in this 3 ratio the first ratio is 3 by 5 the highest number is 5 therefore you should cut 5 arcs which point should be joined the the denominator number should be joined here how many arcs should be cut 7 arc here b point b5 should be joined to c here b3 should be joined to c what is the number of arcs is 4 So you can try this question the ratio is what 7 by 5 number of arcs number of arcs number of arcs equals 7 which point should be joined to C point b5 because the number 5 is in the denominator okay don't get confused in the exam now moving to question number 7 now draw a line segment of ab 6 cm what is the first step first step is draw a line segment what ab of 6 cm now what is the ratio ratio is 3 is to 4 add the ratio what we get to divide the line segment we should add the ratio what we get is sir now draw a acute angle dray cut how many arcs seven arcs join the a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 join b and a7 after that from the point A3 and from the point A7 cut an arc in the same way without changing the length cut an arc measure this arc length from point from this point cut an arc pass through it now the AB line is divided to two segments students when you have, uh, this line should be parallel this if in case of construction of triangle also you can check that the lines will be always parallel if the lines are parallel that means you have done a mistake draw less than type ogiv very important remark question students if they give you the class interval instead of this less than 50 less than 75 if they gave you the uh, class interval you need to find out the cumulative frequency but here in the question they have directly given the cumulative frequency what you need to do you need to just plot this point that is 50 comma 2 next 75 comma 4 next 100 comma 9 next 125 comma 10 
वन फिफ्टी का मैं लेवन वन सेवेंटी फाइव का मैं थर्टीन टू हंड्रेड का मैं फिफ्टीन यू कैन सी है फिफ्टी का मैं टू सेवेंटी फाइव का मैं फोर डायरेक्टली यू शुड राइट द पॉइंट्स व्हाट इज द पॉइंट यार फिफ्टी का मैं टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज सेवेंटी फाइव का मैं फोर नेक्स्ट इज हंड्रेड का मैं नाइन नेक्स्ट वन ट्वेंटी फाइव का मैं टेन लाइक दिस व्हाट इज व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज जस्ट यू नीड टू प्लॉट राइट द पॉइंट्स एंड जस्ट प्लॉट इट for uh, less than og in the x axis what we have is upper limits on the y axis it is cumulative frequency directly they'll give in the exam what you should do is just you need to plot it in case if they give the class interval and frequency you should calculate the cumulative frequency then you should take the low upper limits and you should plot with the cumulative frequency and also scale is very important write the suitable scale what you use in the exam this is a question for your practice here also no need to calculate the cf what you should do is just uh, plot the what the length in meters versus what number of leaves for more than type og it is on the x axis it is lower limits on the y axis it is upper on the x axis it is uh, lower limits on y a y axis it is cumulative frequency what you need the points are 100 comma 42 next 115 comma 40 directly you write the points and plot it this is the question for your practice take a graph sheet or in book itself you can do it in the examination two graph sheets will be provided one for solving the pair of linear equation graphically four marks another is for og now moving to second question next question solve graphically very important four mark question they'll give a pair two pair pair of linear equations here the given question is x plus y equals 5 and x minus y equals 1 for first line x plus y, y equals 5 assume the value of x find out the value of y or assume the value of y and find out the value of x substitute any values but less than 6 uh, or 7 because uh, in the graph if it is more if you get more uh, the number with higher value it is impos it is not we cannot plot it actually again the scale has to be increased so for that what you can do assume the lower value start with assuming uh, x equals 0 what we get is y equals 5 in the same way if you put x equals 2 what we get is y equals Three, the same way x equals one. What we get is y equals four. Assume x value or y value and find out the another variable. Here, if I assume x equals three, what I get is y is five. If I assume x equals two, y equals three. X equals four. Y equals one. In the same way, very important four mark question, definite question. So to verify your answer, you can use the elimination method. and what are the answer you get graphically should be same as the answer what you get by elimination method after plotting this lines these two lines will intersect at point 3 comma 2 therefore the value of x equals 3 and y equals 2 students have uh, solved this questions with examples and more questions in my channel you can in detail i have explained and also i'll so i have solved this question you can check it out very important question for four mark question it is an four mark important question for the exam a boat whose speed is what 18 kilometers per hour a boat whose speed is what 18 kilometer per hour in still water and takes 1 hour more to go to 24 to go 24 kilometer upstream then to return downstream to the same spot find the speed of the 
stream very important four mark question from the unit quadratic equations based on this concept definitely four mark question will be asked student before that know the relation between speed distance and time speed equals what distance by time what is speed speed is distance traveled by time taken now time equals what distance by speed speed equals distance by time now time equals distance by speed s equals d by t in first case what is the speed uh, speed of uh, motor boat in still water it is 18 kilometer per hour what about what about the time it takes one hour more than to go 25 24 kilometer upstream then to return downstream to the same spot now from this what is the distance the distance will be same here therefore the distance given distance equals 24 kilometer what we need to find out we need to find out the speed of the stream I'll assume it it has x speed let let speed of stream equals x kilometer per hour i have assumed the speed of stream as what x kilometer per hour now what is the speed of uh, boat upstream the same way speed of boat downstream upstream means lower point to higher point downstream is from higher level to lower level for upstream for upstream speed of boat minus speed of stream that is x for downstream it is 18 plus x if the boat moves from higher level to lower level the speed will increase that why it is plus in the same way for upstream it is against the speed of the water therefore uh, it is minus 6 speed of uh, boat upstream is 18 minus 6 downstream will be 18 plus 6 now speed equals what distance by time now what we need to do is we need to find out what is the difference of the time it takes the difference of time is 1 hour that is t1 minus t2 is what 1 time taken for upstream is t1 time taken for downstream is t2 what is the difference of time it is 1 what is t1 is t is what speed distance by speed what is distance distance is 24 uh, the speed is what 18 minus x minus t2 is what distance is same 24 the speed is what 18 plus x equals 1 now what is common here the common here is 24 if you take 24 out what you get 1 by 18 minus x minus 1 by 18 plus x equals 1 now take uh, butterfly method that is 18 plus x into 1 is 18 plus x minus 18 plus into minus 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 into minus plus x divided by 18 minus x into 18 plus x equals 1 plus 18 minus 18 will cancel out 20 x plus x is 2x 24 into 2x by 18 minus x into 18 plus x equals 1 24 into 2 is what 48 
x which is equal to 18 plus x 18 minus 6 is cos multiply what we get is 18 plus x 18 minus 6 it is of the form a plus b a minus b we can write as a, a square minus b square that is 18 square minus x square now shift all the terms will x square minus 48x minus plus 45 48x as it is 18 square is what 324 shifting we get minus 324 equals this is the quadratic equation solve this quadratic equation by formula method by or by factorization method we get the speed of the stream as 6 kilometer per hour students the first uh, concept what you should understand is speed equals distance by time that is s equals d by t in the question they have given the distance is 24 kilometers the distance will not be changed distance remain the same when you're traveling from your home to school the distance will be same but the speed the speed at which you travel will be varying day by day that is e equals 24 kilometer now speed of the stream let us assume the speed of stream is x kilometer per hour now speed of the boat upstream if you are going from lower point to higher point the speed will be reduced that is 18 minus x in the same way the speed of the boat downstream will be it will move faster that is the speed will increase therefore it is 18 plus x that is the difference of upstream minus downstream is what one the time taken the difference of time taken is what one t1 is what for upstream that is distance is 24 by speed is 18 minus x minus 24 by 18 plus x if we simplify we get the quadratic equation x square plus 48 x minus 324 equals 0 solve this by factorization method or the quadratic formula method we get x as the speed of stream is what 6 kilometers per hour and next uh, question uh, this question has been asked in model paper i have solved in the key answers so a very simple and uh, important question very important question definitely should solve after solving you can comment to your answers in the comment section I have already solved this question you can check it out very important question moving to next question very important formal question the sum of reciprocal of Raymond's age three years ago and five years from now is 1 by 3 find his present age students when you are solving the age related problem what you should is let us assume the present age of Rahman assume the present age of let present age of Rahman equals the present age of Rahman is x now three years ago three years ago what will be his age it will be x minus three three years ago his age will be x minus three five years from now it will be x plus three, x plus five see here uh, 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 assume that your age is 15 now three years ago your age will be 15 minus three that is 12 after 5 years your age will be 15 plus 5 that is 20 in the same way 3 years ago his age was x minus 3 5 years from now his age will be x plus 5 present is is what x after three years so after uh, three years so his age will be x minus three five after five years his age will be x plus five now the reciprocal of his age three years ago and that reciprocal means one by x minus three plus one by x plus five is what one by t the reciprocal of his uh, ages three years ago and five years from now is what one by three now take the butterfly method x plus 5 into 1 is x plus 5 plus x minus 3 into 1 is 
एक्स माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स माइनस थ्री इनटू इक्वल्स वन बाय थ्री नाउ एक्स प्लस एक्स इज व्हाट टू एक्स फाइव माइनस थ्री इज व्हाट टू दैट इज प्लस टू डिवाइडेड बाय नो मत दिस इज द बाइनोमियल एक्स इनटू एक्स एक्स स्क्वायर x into 5 is 5x. Now 3 into x is minus 3x plus plus into minus 3 5 is a 15 equals 1 by 3. Now cross multiply. Add. Now cross multiply. 3 into 2 is 6x plus 3 2 is a 6 equals x square into 1 is x square. Cross multiply. 5x minus 3x is 2x. Plus into minus, minus 15 into 1, 15. Now shift all the terms to answers. X square plus 2x plus 6x. After shifting, it becomes minus 6x minus 15 plus 6. After shifting, it becomes minus 6 equals 0. Now x square minus 4x minus plus 2x minus 6x is minus 4x. Minus 15 minus 6 is minus 21 equals 0. It is the required quadratic equation. Solve this quadratic equation by factorization method or formula method. Better use formula method. You will get the answer. If we solve the quadratic equation x square minus 4x minus 21, we get the age of Raymond as 17. Yes, students do solve by factorization method or by formula method. My suggestion is always to go for formula method. In case if the answer also if answer is wrong, at least for the formula you will get half marks. A vessel in the form of Three mark question from the unit. A vessel in the form of hollow hemisphere, hollow hemisphere, mounted by a what? Hollow, hollow cylinder. The diameter of the hemisphere is fourteen centimeter, and total height of the vessel is what? Thirteen centimeter. Now, find the inner surface area of vessel. First, it is the combination of two solids. That is, hemisphere plus cylinder. Here, the top portion is not involved here. Here also, it is not there. So, what you should do? You should calculate the CSA of hemisphere plus CSA of. Just you need to calculate the. In the surface, therefore, it is CSA of hemisphere plus CSA of cylinder, and also to calculate the CSA of cylinder, what you should have, you should have the height. So height will be what? Height is what? Thirteen. Uh, the total height is what? Thirteen minus the radius. Radius is what? Fourteen uh, by two is seven. So we get uh, radius of hemisphere is seven. To get the height of the hem height of cylinder, it is thirteen minus seven. Thirteen minus seven is what? Six centimeter. Now using this, find out what the CS of hemisphere plus CS of cylinder. Then add it, you'll get the answer. Students, this is uh, uh, just you need to uh, calculate the CS of hemisphere and CS of uh, cylinder. Calculate the CS of hemisphere and uh, CS of uh, the cylinder, and add it, you'll get the answer. If you add CS of hemisphere and CS of cylinder, we get answer as 572 centimeter cube. So centimeter square. So after calculating the the surface area, do comment your answers. So same question, similar question. How many solids are there? It is cylinder plus two hemisphere. That is two times hemisphere. 
Now what you need to calculate CSA of hemisphere plus two times CSA CSA of cylinder plus two times CSA of hemisphere. So after if you calculate the CSA of cylinder and uh, CSA of uh, hemisphere two times the CSA of hemisphere, then add it. What you get is the total surface area of the article. You should not use CSA formula. Just the top portion and bottom portion is uh, replaced by what the hemisphere which is scooped out therefore it is just the curved surface area of cylinder and curved surface area of two times the curved surface area of the cylinder what is the solution for this first find out the solids in the figure that is cylinder and two hemisphere find out the csa of cylinder plus two times the CSA of hemisphere add it will get the answer do comment your answers for this question take your time then you can comment moving to next question very important question for three mark prove that sin a plus cos a whole square plus cos a plus secant to whole square equals I've already told you first step is always write the LHS what is LHS here sin a cos a whole square plus cos a plus secant a whole square what is a plus b whole square a plus b whole square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab or a square plus 2ab plus b square in place of a what i have sin a b is cos i'll apply the formula sin square a plus cos square a plus 2 sin a into cos a in the same way cos a plus secant is cos square a plus secant square a plus 2 cos a into secant a now what is sin square a plus cos square it is 1 because of the identity 1 plus 1 plus students it is not cos it is cosecant sin a plus cosecant a plus two times sin a cosecant a can be written as one by sin a plus cos square a plus secant a can be written as one plus tan square a plus 2 cos a secant a can be written as 1 by cos a cos a cos a sin a sin a will cancel out 1 plus 2 plus 1 here plus tan square a plus 2 plus remaining is what cos square Students, let me solve this problem again sin a plus cosecant a whole square that is a square that is sin square a plus cosecant square a plus 2 sin a into cosecant a in the same way cos a plus secant whole square is what cos square a plus secant square a plus 2 cos a into secant a now sin a plus cos square a arrange the term as because we can use identity one sin square a plus cos square a i've arranged these two terms as uh, arranged uh, now what you need to is rearrange the term now 2 sin a this term i'm writing as 2 sin a into cos a as 1 by sin a plus here this term 2 cos a secant a right as 1 by cos a what is remaining now the remaining is what cosecant square a plus secant square a now sin a sin a cos a cos a will get cancel sin square a plus cos square is 1 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus what is cosecant square a is using identity it is 1 plus cos square a 
what is secant square it is 1 plus tan square a now add all the constant 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 1 7 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a which is equal to rhs hence proof just apply a plus b whole square formula and rearrange the terms use the reciprocal and identity 1 2 and 3 you should use for all the identities use all the identity that is sin square a plus cos square a is 1 and 1 plus tan square a equals secant square a and 1 plus cot square equals cosecant square a students solve the questions from the exercise 11.4 definitely three more questions will be asked from that exercise students four mark question from the unit applications of trigonometry i have told you yesterday first identify the right angle triangles from the given figure the right angle triangles are p q b first right angle triangle is p q b and another right angle triangle is what p a q for this both the right angle triangles apply tan ratio tan ratio is what opposite by adjacent what is theta in triangle p q b it is 30 degree that is tan 30 equals opposite is what height of the building they have given that is 10 by adjacent is x the same way in this uh, right angle triangle theta is what 45 degree which is equal to opposite is height of the building plus the flag post h divided by adjacent x now what is tan 30 it is 1 by root 3 equals 10 by x what is the value of x equals cos multiply we get 10 root 3 we get the x value as 10 x 10 root 3 meters that is the distance between the point and the the building now what you need to do is substitute this x value tan 45 is 1 into cos multiply into x values 10 root 3 equals 10 plus h now h equals 10 root 3 minus 10 h equals take 10 common what you get is root 3 minus 1 h equals 10 root 3 minus 1 meters or what we can calculate 10 into they'll give the value if they give the value of root 3 you can substitute it that is 1.73 minus 1 we get 10 into 1.73 10 into 0 0.73 is 7.3 therefore height of the flag post is 7.3 meters very it will be very simple if you just understand find out the right angle triangles apply tan ratio find out the unknown substitute another ratio will get the required height important theorems for five marks definitely for uh, theorem will be asked for five marks state and proof Thales theorem state and proof Pythagoras theorem and also a criteria and areas of similar triangle if you practice these four theorems definitely one will be asked for your exam first practice with Pythagoras theorem then Thales theorem then other two theorems for from the circles already we have discussed yesterday if you need I can explain all these uh, theorems in detail in my future videos. Moving to question number 20 from the unit arithmetic progression, very important uh, four mark question. In an arithmetic progression, sum of first term, third term, and fifth term that is a1 plus a3 plus a5 equals what? 39. This is the first condition. Next condition is second term plus fourth term that is a4 plus a6 equals what 51 now what is a1 a1 is a what is a3 it is a plus 2d what is a5 a plus 4d equals 
39. Now a plus a plus a is 3a plus 2d plus 4d is 6d equals 39. Take this as equation 1. Now what is a2? a plus d. What is a4? a plus 3d. What is a6? a plus 5d equals 51. Now a plus a plus a is 3a plus d plus 3d is 4d. 4d plus 5d is 9d equals 51. Now subtract equation 2 minus 1. What we get? 3a plus 9d equals 51. 3a plus 6d equals 39. Now in the subtract all the sign will be changed. Now plus 3a minus 3a will cancel out. 9d minus 6d is 3d. In the same way 51 minus 39 is uh, 12. Now d equals what? 12 by 3 d equals what 4 now substitute the value of d value of d in any one of the equation find out the value of a that i'll give for you to do it and find out the first three terms uh, sorry find out we should find out the tenth term that is the a 10 equals a plus 9 d or we can use the formula a, a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d you get the same relation between it students hopefully yesterday we have solved around 22 questions today on 20 questions the same concepts will be appearing for the exam and also uh, one mark question and chapter wise revision with model paper analysis will be done tomorrow solve all these questions if you have any doubt do watch it again do discuss with your uh, teachers and construction should be perfect because around uh, the, the for skill level questions they are around more than 10 marks is uh, allotted including graph ogive construction and all I think it's around 16 marks so do make the best uh, use of it and try to score good marks thank you for watching the video do subscribe the channel for practice paper join my telegram group